Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, I am Tung, and in today's video, I wanna share with you guys some of the accessories that I use for my Fujifilm X-H2 and my X-H2S. Let's start right off the bat with this small rig cage that I have on. Sometimes when I'm filming with the X-H2S, I find that the weight of the camera is still a bit light. What the small rig cage does is just add a bit of weight to help make the footage steady. And when you have it on, it enhances the grip better. And the cage also acts like a protective layer on the camera just in case you drop it accidentally. <laughs> Hopefully it lands on the cage and not the actual camera. I also have the side handle just for the better grip. And I do notice when I put this on, I get a better and smoother pan and it sort of evens out the camera shakes that is caused by me. And this top handle you have right here is where I put the external monitor, the Atomos Ninja 5. Add all this together, you have a decent rig, I guess. My rig is not going to be as extensive because I'm not a filmmaker. I do feel clients takes me more seriously when I have my rig all set up and ready to go. Up next, we have the Ulanzi Cold Shoe Mount Smartphone Holder. For anyone wanting to get some BTS content for your TikToks, YouTube Shorts, or Instagram Reels, this is what I use whenever I can remember to film short form content alongside my portrait shoot. I would add my smartphone and press record, and usually I find smartphone quality to be enough for BTS. You don't need the best footage to share your process, and I find the quality on the smartphone nowadays to be really good and sometimes better than other cameras out there. So I always have this thing in my camera bag waiting to go. Up next, we got filters. These are filters that I've been using lately whenever I go out and film things. You got these Freewell ND filters. It's self-explanatory. I'm sure you guys heard it a bunch. It's just sunglasses for your lens. I need this ND filter to achieve the 180 degree shutter angle rule. And since Fujifilm's F-Log 2's native ISO is at ISO 1250, I find myself using the five to nine stop ND filter whenever I'm filming outside. And whenever I'm filming inside, I use the one to four stop if I wanna shoot at f log 2 and at f1.4. I also use mist filters. Nowadays, every mist filters out there by like different camera brands look the same in my opinion. Mist filters are a lifesaver because it softens up those highlights whenever you're out shooting in harsh light. And I think it makes my images look real good whenever I have them on. My videos look good and my photos look good too. The ones that I'm currently using at the moment are the ones by Seven Artisans. I like their black mist filters because it, because it gives me a similar result as the Tiffin Black Pro Mist and it's cheaper. So whenever you're shooting with the Fujifilm X-H2S, you're going to need memory cards. When I first bought the X-H2S, I was looking for a CF Express Type B cards everywhere in Europe, but the reasonably priced ones were sold out everywhere. I couldn't find them anywhere and it was hard to come by. And I'm talking about the SanDisk ones. So the only ones that were available were these Sony Tough cards that I got. And the reason why there's, they were available is because they're expensive as f <laughs> But they have been solid and reliable. I haven't had a single issue with these memory cards. I've used Sony Tough cards before and I always find them to be super reliable. I never got any weird memory card format formatting issues like I do with other brands. However, if you're someone that's on a budget, I highly recommend the Pergear CF Express Type B card as well. This is the one terabyte version and it's been awesome to have. And I haven't had a single issue on this memory card as well. And it's at a much more affordable price than the tough cards. Just think about it. The 256 gigabyte Sony tough cards that I have cost $429. The Pergear one terabyte Type B card is 379. So you get close to four times the storage for $50 less. I've been filming 6.2K open gate. I've been filming stuff on 8K video. I've used this to take loads of photos on the X-H2 and the X-H2S. I've tested it at the highest bit rate, which was at 720 megabits per second and not a single hiccup. The Pergear Type B card has been excellent for me. So these are the two options that I have for memory cards that I use for the CF Express. For SD memory cards, I use these Prograde V90 cards. I find them to be reliable. Again, I haven't ran into any weird formatting issues and I find Prograde uh, memory cards to be reasonably priced for, for what they do. Up next, we got an electronic blower. So living in the Algarve, it can get quite dusty. It's so dry so you can just attract dirt and dust everywhere you go. And I've recently learned that sometimes we get sands coming from Africa. The sandstorms from Africa will make their way up to the Algarve. I think it's a pretty cool fact because we don't have this in Canada at all. But because of the dust, I have this electronic blower, the Nightcore BB2 blower. It is a great tool to have. The regular manual rocket blower isn't gonna cut it here. This Nightcore does all the heavy lifting for you. All you gotta do is push the button and it'll take care of the rest. And like I said, when I do use it, it's been solid just to like, you know, 
just blowing the dust away from my camera bodies and my lenses and sometimes my keyboard, my laptop keyboards. Well, there you have it, folks. These are some of the accessories that I use for my Fujifilm X-H2S and my X-H2. If you are interested in any of the stuff I talk about in this video, the links to all of them are down in the description below. If you find this video helpful, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. I do Fujifilm and photography related content on this channel. As always, my name is Tung and I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Okay, bye.